Hey y'all, welcome to video number one in our Wholesaling Secrets video series. And today, I'm going to tell you the secret to finding great wholesale deals and the perfect market to send your marketing to. There are some things that the gurus aren't telling you. Everyone will tell you, pull a list for a county, pull a list for a zip code, pull a list for five zip codes, send 20,000 pieces of mail a month. But they're missing one key point that I'm gonna talk to you about today. And here it is. When it comes to finding the perfect market for your wholesale deals, you gotta do your research first and you wanna go deep and not wide. What does that mean? That means you want to know where are cash buyers already purchasing houses? How do you figure out this information? If you're an agent or you have a connection to an agent, they can look up for you where the most transactions that are cash are happening in your area. If you're not an agent, no worries. We got you. You can go on an app like PropStream and you can look on PropStream and see the exact same thing. Where are the most cash buyers purchasing houses in your area? But that's not all I want you to know, okay? I want you to also ask agents in your area, where are people from out of state, out of town, buying the most rental properties? Why does it matter if out-of-state owners own rental properties? And this is something else you can also get from PropStream if you don't have an agent working on your team. Out-of-state owners are typically owners that pay more for property and they're coming to the area because their area has gotten so ridiculously expensive. So as a wholesaler, we love wholesale buyers that are from out of the area or even out of state, even better, okay? So you wanna ask your agent, where are people buying rentals for cash? Where are there a lot of rental properties? And where do you see out of state owners buying the most real estate, an agent or prop stream? You're gonna target one small market. And when I say go deep, not wide, I mean that you're gonna mail to one small niche area over and over and over. A seller has to see your marketing piece like seven or more times before they pull the trigger. Sometimes sellers respond to ours after like the 13th mailing, okay? And lots of follow-up. So you wanna make sure that you have a big enough marketing budget to hit a list repeatedly. So the smaller your marketing budget, the smaller the target market that you should be looking at. Do not ask someone, what's the most desirable school district or desirable neighborhood or desirable area? And that's where I'm gonna go market to because typically homeowners know that they live in the most desirable market or desirable area. So they'll have the attitude of, you do know what area I live in, right? Like I am not selling my house to you at a discount. You don't need to be buying in the most desirable area. You need to be buying in areas where the most cash transactions are happening and the most out of state landlords are buying rental properties and in areas where properties make good flips and also good rentals, which typically means they're in the first time home buyer price range because this widens your buyer pool. Now you're hitting flippers and you're hitting wholesalers that are buying rental properties. So when you're analyzing your market, take those things into consideration. Comment below and let me know why you love the area that you market to, or if it's kind of in a pain and you're looking for another one. And stay tuned for next week's episode, episode two in our Wholesaling Secret Series, where I'm gonna go deeper and tell you more about how to find that perfect wholesale buyer.